hello friends let's discuss about the induction motor so as told in the previous lecture that there are two types of rotor construction which are widely used in the three phase induction motor out of which one is squirrel cage rotor another is a slip ring rotor so first cons let us concentrate on the squirrel cage rotor all the industries are having the three phase induction motor for doing their mechanical work so almost 90% of induction motor are having a squirrel cage rotor why the induction motor is called as squirrel cage induction motor because this induction motor is having a squirrel cage rotor so the construction of squirrel cage rotor almost 90% of three phase induction motor are of squirrel cage type because the squirrel cage rotor is a simpler in a construction and it is a rigid it is rigid it has a long life than the uh, next type of rotor that is slipping induction motor squirrel cage rotor is of a really rigid construction and a very simple construction so the squirrel cage rotor consists of the cylindrical core this is a cylindrical core you can see here in this diagram this is a cylindrical core a laminated cylindrical core and the laminations are similarly insulated uh, as is, uh, told in the previous class the laminations are insulated from each other by means of varnish and these laminations are slotted in order to carry the rotor bars in the squirrel cage rotor there is a no rotor winding there is a rotor bars of copper or, or aluminum or alloy these bars are made up of copper or aluminum or alloy and this uh, there is a, uh, there is a no any uh, type of winding there is a rotor bars you can see here these rotor bars are placed in the rotor slots and these rotor bars form a rotor winding these rotor bars are short circuited on the end rings this is the end ring this is the, the, uh, these are the two end rings and these rotor bars are short circuited to these two end rings you can you can see here in squirrel cage rotor the rotor bars are short circuited to the two end rings two short end rings this is a very rigid end rings uh, so the rotor bars are short circuited to themselves so in a squirrel cage rotor there is a no means to add there is a no arrangement to add the any external resistance in series with the rotor circuit the, so this is a one basic drawback of a squirrel cage induction motor that there is a no provision to add any external resistance in series with the rotor circuit so uh, the squirrel cage rotor is a simple uh, sim, sim, uh, simple and the construction is like a cage of a squirrel hence the rotor name is a squirrel cage you can see here the one most important thing to be noted in the squirrel cage rotor is that the rotor bars are not parallel to the shaft this is the shaft axis you can see here this is the shaft axis and this is the rotor bars the rotor bars are not parallel to the shaft but are purposely given as slightly skew you can uh, read here the rotor bars are slightly skewed these rotor bars are purposely given as slightly skew in order to reduce the magnetic locking between the stator and rotor because both are magnetic because both are uh, bo both possesses the magnetic uh, properties so because of that there is a force of attraction so in order to avoid the magnetic locking between the stator teeth and the rotor teeth the uh, squirrel cage induction motor rotor bars squirrel cage induction motor rotor bars take a purposely uh, uh, take a purposely slightly skew with respect to the shaft you can see here the rotor bars are purposely uh, take a slightly skew so the in uh, induction motor this type of uh, rotor is uh, widely used also this type of rotor help the three phase induction motor to run quietly without producing magnetic hum this is the one more advantage of uh, squirrel cage rotor that the motor start without producing any noise this rotor help the motor to start quietly and uh, the tendency of rotor bar to remain under the influence of stator bars means the interlocking tendency magnetic interlocking tendency of rotor bars with respect to the stator bars is reduces in the squirrel cage rotor because of the slightly skew bars placed in the rotor uh, slots so in the next lecture we will uh, we'll see the next type of rotor construction that is slip ring rotor Thank you.